All right, guys, so I'm back with another one of these episodes, compilation, TikToks, reaction video. I'm reacting to the most random TikToks all around the world. I got a good list here for you guys today. We're going to get right into it. Don't forget, I do have a song coming out very soon, December 4th. The first song I'm releasing since I dropped the mixtape, uh, this one's Supernova, December 4th. Stay tuned for that. More content, music videos, all of that on the way some performance videos are on the way too lots of music on the way i'm planning on dropping two more songs after supernova before the end of the year and then i'm looking to go crazy next year so if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel especially if you're liking the music that i have released in the past already subscribe like add me on all other social medias like instagram spotify soundcloud even also tiktok we're about to get right into this one hopefully it tops the other episodes I've dropped. We'll see. That's crazy, man. Like, if this guy makes, like, one small mistake, bro, like, he just one little pebble or a rock misplaced, like, this guy's done, bro. 167 kilometers an hour. Damn, that boy out here hacking into the mainframe of the intergalactic. Like, bruh, what mistake, bro? Like, he ain't got no Wells Fargo. That was a homeless guy, but his jacket was kind of sick, though. I'm pretty sure that was, like, uh, not some, like, Naruto stuff going on there. He's wearing that Naruto jacket. I, I don't know the, the specific name in the show, but, yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 1958. That's crazy. Like, you gotta imagine, though, like, that was such a while ago. And, like... They probably have bigger bombs now. This is 1958. And like, look what look what it can do, bro. Like, the height of that explosion is probably like touching the clouds, bro. Like, that that's actually crazy. Probably killed a lot of those seagulls flying in the air too, which is kind of sad. Oh, well, I guess a lot of sea life too, but. It's crazy, man. Watch it create like a giant like tidal wave. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Uh, that's crazy. Five generations in one room, like that. That rarely happens. See, this would be normal if it was Halloween, but. It probably wasn't Halloween. <laughs> it's probably Halloween, though, at the same time. Because the machetes look kind of like they're plastic. Oh, yeah. This video is old. I've seen this a few times, but... It's like somebody, like, threw him. Like, it's honestly, like, it, it, somebody or, like, a group of people just took him. Like... Uh, what do you call it? Rocked him back and forth and just tossed him right down the slide, bro. Like that guy was going so fast, like it was ridiculous. Probably shouldn't be letting kids go through that, but I don't know. But they failed to steal it. But according to the detectives, Pop Smoke's humble bragging on Instagram led the See Pop Smoke. I never really got into his music so much. Um, he he reminds me a whole lot like uh, Fifty Cent. They're kind of, they kind of sound the same, just like the whole persona and style is similar. I think they're from the same area too, but yeah, I didn't, like rest in peace, uh, Pop Smoke, but I don't know, man. I never, I never was too much into his music. I, I thought he was like, all right, rapper, but yeah. That's, see, that's what happens though when you get flashy with your jewelry. That's basically what they're saying. Like the main reason why he died, but like, you know, I don't know, man. That's why I like I I'm not that into jewelry, bro. That see that box is cool though. That's crazy how it started off with like actual peach basket, and then the only thing that changed from there was just the backboards, right? The rim stayed the same. So like once they figured out the rim, it was a wrap straight up. Cause like the rim's like the same. You can't let go. Probably like no spring back in the day, but they put a spring in it. That could have been bad. <laughs> it's 
kind of jokes. Uh, this guy's Canadian too. But video just makes him look bad though. Like, whoever made this video is probably a LeBron fan. Like, come on, man. <laughs> a Toronto couple have been arrested after border agents found pro, pro LeBron fan for sure. Inside of a truck worth millions. The meth is estimated to be worth over $13 million, and when they raided the couple's home, they also found more meth. How is that even like how? And of course, the Toronto couple is now facing a long And they say it's a Toronto couple, like. That's crazy. Oh! You had the distance. You had the distance. Anthony. Oh, uh, that sucks. Get you up, this guy gets injured. You didn't get it from half court, but we're going to give you a chance to shoot it from the three point line. This guy, this guy got like a, a, an actual basketball injury, bro. Everybody, put your hands together one more time for Anthony. So it, 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 your Achilles, I think, right? I think that's We're the, I think that's the Kevin Durant uh, injury or the injury Kevin Durant got. That took him out for a minute, you know what I mean? Bro, like, look at that, yo. Excuse me. I, like. I've never seen that happen in a game before. That's actually crazy. I have never ever seen that happen before. The coach just goes into the microphone. Stop booing, like. Ontario that, like, that's actually crazy. Going over 250 kilometers an hour on the highway. That's right. He was clocked going at 252 kilometers an hour on a 100 kilometer an hour highway at around Bro, 7 what? a.m. And he's facing charges. That's yo, that's fast, man. That's like the dial is like to the very end, bro. Worst wardrobe malfunctions in the NBA. Bro, yo, that's full fast. Yo, that's crazy. Torn, as you can see, third foul on Shepard. This is the second time I've seen these Nike jerseys get torn in a game. Michael Beasley looking to check in for the Lakers, and then is told, "Hey, Michael, come on back. You're wearing the wrong shorts." And he heads back to the locker room instead of wearing. How do you not notice that? This guy's sick. Uh, Shy Alexander. Here before tip, we got nothing but white jerseys out there. A little miscommunication, and they're going to send Joshua Kogi to the floor because Andrew doesn't have a jersey. And finally. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is when he was on the Wolves. Watch the right foot, Grant Williams plants. Bro, his shoe just blew up. Comes right through. It just exploded. Has exploded the Bro, it just blew up on his foot. What the hell? In the world. His left foot, right there. His foot came right out, bro. Like, yo, could have been injured so bad off of that. That's crazy. Uh, one of this is Toronto. Yeah, I think it is Toronto. See, like those type of things, that's like that's such a subway type of thing to happen. So sketchy though, like and imagine just being like a a bystander in that situation. It's like you're like um trying to go to work or something like that and you're just like waiting for the police to handle the, the situation. Just like bro, like and it, it looks like a busy day. It it looks like it might be like a, a Friday or something. Or like a holiday or something. No, maybe not a holiday. Um, I don't know, like a busy weekend or something like that. Like there's a lot of people like in this on that train, bro. Oh, okay. So this is the guy here. This guy doesn't even have a shirt on, bro. Like, it's probably on like drugs or something. You can see him like he's kind of like shaking a bit while he's walking. Take a picture and put it on Facebook and say, "Look, this airline uses duct tape to fix their planes. It's not duct tape. It's speed tape. It's FAA certified." FAA approved. It's a temporary fix. See, this is what's loose. gonna give people uh, phobias on uh, for plane plane phobias. 
Like, that's like, bro. I like how that sounds. That's sick. That's kind of cool. That is so sick, bro. Like, it probably costs so much money, though, to, to, sit, to set this up. Uh, even, like, getting all those systems, too. Like, classic uh, consoles cost so much nowadays. But this, this would be such a nasty setup to have, bro. I probably wouldn't ever, like, leave my room my gaming room i would just be in the gaming room 24 7 until the very end that's cool i i'd spend a bunch of money on that i, I can't draw so this this is impressive to me This is gonna make me hungry. Hell yeah, man. That would taste so good. Oh shit, nice strike though. Uh these guys are kinda sick still. I, I used to play a little bit, man. These guys, these guys definitely got, these these guys definitely got game though. That was that was nice. Oh, I can't believe I didn't fall. <laughs> that was a launcher. That was nice. Nice ball control. Yeah, it's, oh, it's big, the big guy's kind of sick, man. The big man's sick. That's nice. Laser. A little girl, just 10 years old, sobbed as she's brought into court, charged with first degree murder. She's comforted by her mom as the judge orders her held on $50,000 bail. And look, as she leans close to her dad, you can That's sad, man. handcuffs on her tiny wrist. The charge is shocking. The murder she, like, of a baby boy at a oh, okay. outside Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Injuries uh, sustained by the six It looks like it might have been an accident though, because that that girl doesn't look like a crazy like one of those crazy kids that are like, you know. So that's pretty sad. Oh she okay. said she panicked and began speaking on the baby's head to stop him from crying. The girl's parents say she has a history of severe emotional problems. They have oh. tried to get her help, but have been told she's too young to be admitted to a mental health facility. Now the disturbing sight of a frightened ten year old charged with the ultimate crime. That's crazy, bro. What? Oh, that that took a that took a twist. I was thinking like she maybe accidentally dropped the baby, but then she's like she's stomping on the baby. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, guys. So uh, so that's that's it for today's episode. You already know. I'm Looper Norris once again. Thank you guys for watching this episode and for watching all the episodes I've been putting out, all the music I've been putting out, all that, all the videos and all the content. I really do appreciate it. More stuff, of course, more music, more of these uh, reaction videos. I'm gonna try to find better videos. This might be my one of my favorite group of videos so far. More episodes, more reactions for you guys. And before I end the episode, once again, December 4th, brand new song, Supernova, set for four o'clock in the morning on all platforms, iTunes, Amazon, you'll be able to find it everywhere. Comic Book Money, the mixtape, if you haven't heard that already, it's already out. Lots more music to come, lots more content. I'm out. Peace.